once you finish the onboarding that's the first part um, I'm gonna update this checklist in the documentation as well they are signing up the sandbox so we have finished um, selecting our app name language registration method business model revenue model delivery method if you don't need delivery method you can just like skip that choose the payment gateways if you don't find the payment gateways just skip that uh, location on the map if you don't that skip that if you need that just select the things okay and uh, yeah you, you finish signing onboarding on the first step okay then we have the second step which is the platform fundamentals okay now let's go to the courser example so what i was mentioning um accounts and listings yeah this is the two fundamental blocks so to build this marketplace we need these two fundamental blocks the first block is what it's an account so for the accounts when you um when you onboard your student or teacher you wanted to collect specific information yeah for example coursera asks this information what is your work experience your experience level who is your employer field university education everything yeah and they provide you what do they say they provide you options as well so and um, this is like um, this is all like a single select options so anyway um, so so they collect all this information yeah so when you want to collect this information when your user uh, get onboarded you just go back to the app this is your account so let's say I'm creating a profile okay don't, don't worry about the store votes and all those things for your educational marketplace the strings can be changed yeah um, but for here so when uh, somebody is opening the account they need the, uh, we can collect the image name categories address remember i just activated the um, when i onboarded i activated the address so the address is there if we deactivate it you know it won't be there yeah and here it has category the category i mean for your when you open sign up for the first time it will be empty so who are, who are all the categories um we have we have um we have student and teacher so we need to create two categories so i'm going inside the super admin going to the account section um so let, let, let's this be here okay uh, okay let's just delete this um, delete this yeah uh, let me just deactivate this i don't know what all the things they have configured so i'm gonna like just like switch off this for a while so it doesn't show up here for example like if i go here if i if i switch off you see here it's not even available all right but anyway we need two categories uh, yeah it's going to be a parent category the first category um which is teachers or tutors huh? or tutors or college whatever you name it okay you, you, it's, it's up to you uh yeah this should be first status yes you want to put a picture you can do that but uh in our, our in our um in this app we don't collect the pictures and all i mean pictures of course the pictures here but not the category pictures okay uh just to let you know um it's technical one but this app is a app built on our api but the api can be used to build any type of apps i mean different way how you the the ux ui the wordings how uh, the screen flow everything we can define it but this is a good start so we provide this is for our clients who are non-technical who just want to get started all right uh the next one uh, of course it's again as students okay i can say like learners two students activity so you see here whatever we create there it's all be here okay now i'm gonna be a twitter okay uh, and i got these examples uh what is the course instruction no i mean now our our, our tutor is rosa so it's, uh, don't go there i want to just her name let's so just go there but let's just copy the text from here i want her name you're not breaking any any legal rules i hope i uh, just want to yes just an example for somebody to understand Coursera don't do anything to us um, this respectful teacher and then description 
pam 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 so we got the description so it's a tutor um it's up to you if you want to put location or not yeah but uh, one more thing yeah so when i click the location you see this is an open this is like a native uh, apple map yeah in for ios yeah it's 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 good to remind you can't use google maps here i mean like we are using apple map but when when we are here the future what it is working here is that we can like when we click that it's gonna like um uh, find our our location but let's say if you want to allow people to search yeah so what you can do is that is you go to general again to the settings um map and location is under native integration um no i'm sorry because now we are under accounts yeah so under accounts configuration so account map location selector i'm gonna allow this of course this text all need to be streamlined uh, but I'm going to show you what, what it does. What it does. Found map location selector. So I'm going to switch on that. Now it's allow me to like, like I can, I can, I can like put this, the location selector. Yeah. For example, like Michael Kors. But for example, if I like switch off this thing. Now I need to like um, close the app and uh, come back to for this to work, but I'm, I'm not going to do that because we have already filled a few information. So let's just select this thing, okay? So creating store added, I mean the profile added successfully. Whenever the profiles are added, you can control whether you want you want these profiles to be seen. In the home page suddenly I mean like instantly or you want to have approval process okay for example if I go under accounts the profile is there the status is inactive why because we need to approve but let's say if you wanted to make it auto approval then let me just approve for now and then I will I will show you auto approval later hope it's approved yeah okay um, accounts can also uh, enable auto account approval as well maybe our future accounts I will just make it auto approval auto account uh, approval um, then also one more thing I forgot to mention enable branch unique URL let me show you what happens when I when we enable this thing this was implemented in Android but I'm not sure whether it's in iOS but anyway Yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's not in iOS. It's like people can create like a custom URL for their store. For example, let's say your your uh, the, the the store format is like uh, go dot coursera dot com slash. She can put for example also, yeah, Rosa can put like Rosa. Uh, this is a custom URL. It's not there. All right. Um, that's it. Uh, and yeah, I mean there are some things you can change. And also, like how you want um, the accounts to be. Uh, I mean, when people, when it shows like a nearby, for example, let me show you. And I like log out. It's gonna show me the profiles. Yeah. Let me just close this. I want to test something. Um, enable. We have enabled the nearby location. Yeah. Nearby accounts radius. Let's just put fifty. Also, um, we can. Um, oh yeah, I think we need to activate um, the nearby this uh, nearby widget, which is under mobile app config. Show nearby collection. It's already activated. I think the the nearby collection is is the is the listing feature. But anyway, yeah. Um, so we have um, configured the accounts yeah we missed one part we need to collect these informations under the profile yeah so work experience and all those things yeah so let me just put this experience level so under accounts what it need to be there it need to have an attributes so um, attribute name is work experience level 
So it's asking what type of attribute it is, whether you want to collect single information or a multi information. Okay, then single value or multiple value, which is asking open or just without open. Open means people can enter the value. It's like open, like people can enter any value they want. But if it is like single select or multi select with a open, it means you need to provide these attributes. So in Coursera example, they already define everything. Yeah. Do you find like anywhere where you can enter information? No. But let's say if you want to enter information, you know, you need to allow open field. And if it's a multi, then you can just select multi. But I think I'll just can copy this. Huh? But anyway. Um, so I'm gonna have a single select as they have done. I wanted to ask this from tutors. Um, then you can also define whether it's an optional field and also is it in a private field. You know what's mean by private? I will show that as well. Um, let me just activate that for you and then I will show you what is the private here. So we have added the attribute. Then what we need to add, we need to add the attribute values. What are all the values? What they have is, actually this is for the students, um, but let, let's just put like, I'm just gonna put an easy one. Uh, June, let's say June, uh, two years. Okay, I have asked the team to make it always uh, by default um, the value can be um, the value can be activated so so you don't need to always keep this thing and um, okay now then i'll put ten yes and also we are planning to make this in the, the side menu so you don't need to like have like a pages all right so i added two values so you can see here field count um let me let go back again to my profile actually i need to log in I have logged in um, the password so what is the thing we need to do we need to test whether the attributes the exact attributes we have created is it available you see here and I select tutors or college it asks me what is my experience level we need save yeah uh, so there, there should be two options but let's see why it's not Ah, see here, it was inactive. Sorry. Okay, so there is a bug. The inactive thing is not working here. But anyway, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's working. It's working. When we click, it is just like open up this thing again. Uh, all right. So let's re. Uh, we need to activate this thing. Um. So. Close this and come back again. So it loads. The session fresh. Let's go back and test this thing. So under attributes, under experiences. Yeah, this is uh, seems to be a bug. All right, but anyway, uh, let's create one more one. Fifteen years of R can see PhD. I study PhD, but right, so we can check. Okay, this is active. So this one should come. But of course, you're not gonna do like me, like like changing and then uh, testing it. You're gonna do like one time, so your users are gonna have seamless experience. But anyway, yeah. So we put PhD. Um, and uh, yeah, we need to collect other information. Yeah, what does Miss Ross uh, has senior research scientist? That's a good one. Let's just put that as well. Um, what are the other information they collect from Miss Rosa? It's nothing, right? So this is the information they collect from Rosa. So um, we already have that. Actually, let's see. So let's just do this one. I'm taking a lot of time, huh? Sorry. So, okay, so the account section is done. The account section is done. So, we have created the category, we have created the attributes, the additional information we're going to collect from the teachers. Um, 
and uh, if you want to collect some information from um, students as well you can you can you can configure those things it's up to you i'll leave it to you actually yeah so so this is the place uh, for the students only you need to uh, collect this information what course i was asking what's your career goal and all those things okay all right oh yeah i wanted to show you private yeah so which which attribute we had it as a private um, so experience level did i make it private yeah when you make it private yeah so the profiles of other people can explore the profile when you make it private those information won't be available for others even for you because this information you collect for your platform to verify someone like when you are doing kyc and all those things i mean like onboarding kyc know your customer yeah uh let's i just stuff the private it's, it's not it's not a very private information i go to the store i think we need to close the app I'll show that example so you exactly get it. Come on. Alright, anyway, we are running out of time. I'll not go too much into this. Okay.